All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to work with uh, bitmap images in PowerPoint. So sometimes you can get these free vector graphics or vector graphics that are .eps files, and you can bring those into PowerPoint. You can ungroup them and then you can edit them. But you know, sometimes you may end up with images like this where it's a PNG file, so it's a bitmap image, and you really can't ungroup it. Yet you want to make some modifications. So in this case, I wanted one of these characters here. Uh, to be female, so I'll show you uh, how I made that. I also wanted the chat bubbles to be a little bit bigger. So this is really two posts. One is how to modify the characters. The other is really how to use uh, PowerPoint for some basic illustration tasks. So the first thing we will look at is if I'm using this this image here, um, I could modify either character, um, but this one here has a lot more detail, so it'd be a lot more work to modify. So what I'm going to do is just uh, work on this character. And so for the most part, it's like how do I make the character seem like a female character? Um, the clothes and stuff work well. So that could be a blouse just as easily as it could, could be a man's shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and just add an oval. So we're going to come up here. Let's add an oval shape. And the first thing I'll do is turn off the shape outline colors. And then I'm going to do the color pick on the hair. So now I can see um, you know, what happens when I just move the oval. In this case, just putting a single oval on there uh, seems like it, it works. So it kind of adds some volume to the hair. Now I might want to work with the neckline, right? So make the hair a little bit longer. Now I could just duplicate the oval, right? And then just play around with uh, how that might look. Um, and we'll actually do that. So now I've got you know, kind of just more volume on the hair. Now this is kind of a sharp line here. So I could just duplicate, oops, I duplicated the image. Let's go backwards here. I could take this oval again and duplicate it again. And then um, that actually might be fine for what I want to do. Uh, so I'll just keep that. So now I've got a different hairstyle. And um, the other thing I thought, well, let me add an earring. So I'm going to go ahead add a little thing. Again, it doesn't have to be super detailed. The, the point is that you get the essence of it. So I'm going to take off the outline and I just did a color pick from the other character's image. So that gave me uh, kind of a tie into that. You could also do maybe a color pick from the blouse or whatever. But anyway, in this, in this sense, we went from uh, this image here where it was, looked like um, two men talking to where uh, now it looks like uh, it's a woman and a man talking. Now to increase the the text box size, now this is probably an image or an issue that might be common to a lot of um, your courses. A couple things you could do. Um, one is you could just insert an oval, right? So you got another oval shape uh, for your text. And so you can uh, resize the oval. Let's make it however big you want it to be, right? I mean, this isn't perfect, but we'll just resize the oval. So you can see it gives me more space. I'll do a um, turn off the outline. I'll do a color pick of the oval. And now I've got a larger box. But what happens is, see, I'm still kind of confined uh, to this area. So let me show you how I fix that. I don't want to be confined or have the image define how I have my chat boxes, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab the freeform tool and I'm going to trace that around here to get rid of the image, right? So I've got this here. What I'm going to do is get rid of the outline. I'm going to choose a fill, do color picker and just choose that. So now I've got a solid wall to work with. And then I would do the same thing on this side. So freeform tool, again, doesn't have to be perfect, right? and um, turn that off, do a color pick on this side. And then what I can do is group these all together and so that I don't have to worry about it shifting. Now I can put in whatever I want, right? So I'm not, I'm not confined to the space that the illustration gave me. I can create my own space and my own oval size. All right, so that's working with that image. So let's look at one that's a little bit more complex. So in this one, I wanted one of the characters to uh, look female. And I thought, well, I'll, since I was going to do the tutorial, I'll do one that's a little bit more uh, challenging. So like this particular one, I probably could have 
made that a little um, more interesting. Personally, from an illustration perspective, the face of this character doesn't look like it matches either one of these. But you know, I didn't I didn't design the illustrations. So let's go ahead and modify this character because again, it's not really so much about modifying the character, but it's about learning how to use uh, uh, PowerPoint as an illustration tool. So let me go ahead and we're going to zoom in here so we we can look at that character in a little bit more detail. So I want to make the character look a little um, more feminine. Uh, one of the things it's a square jaw, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the jaw in a little. And the way I did that is you just grab the um, curve tool, right? And so I'm just this again doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to take the curve tool, click over here somewhere, and we'll just pull that in a little. I'm going to uh, come over here and. Um, you can see I've drawn a curve. Now I'll fill that. Now I'm actually going to show you a different way. Um, if you don't want to use the curve tool, you can just use the uh, rectangle tool, right? And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to right click. We're going to edit points. And so when I do this, you can see I got the Bezier curve. And I can you can see how this works, right? So with the Bezier curve, I can uh, make this as tight as I want to. Uh, and then you can drag these points in so you don't have to worry about um, filling them and stuff. So um, we look at that, turn off the outline. Now in this case it does run into two colors, right? That's okay because what we're going to do is just pull in this point. So I'm going to use this color. So I'm going to select my image. I'm going to do a color pick and do the color pick. So now I've got that. And all I have to do is tighten up this curve here. So let's zoom in. I'm going to right click, do edit points, and I can just grab this, drag it in here. And then again, you can play around with the Bezier curve, right? Because I have the fill. So I can make that jawline as square or narrow as I want it. So you can see, you know, creating narrow, and you could create cheekbones and different things like if you want to, uh, playing around with that. So now we've altered the jawline a little. Uh, one of the other things I was playing with, but I just didn't have enough time, was I was going to put eyelashes on there, but um, I didn't do that. But let me show you how I did an eyeliner, so that just added a little bit. So just grab the curve tool and just drew them on here. Again, doesn't have to be perfect for the color. I just chose the eyeball color. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, go line color. And I just chose the pupil color, right? And so, if you want to, you could put eyelashes on there and stuff. So that's kind of how I did the eyeliner. And then you can just take this control, drag it over. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can come in here, edit points, and you can, you know, move that around any way you want to. Now the other thing I did was uh, added some lipstick. Again, I used the curve tool on this. Uh, you could use the rectangle tool as well, but I'm going to use the curve tool. So I'm just going to follow the lip line. What's nice is once you zoom out, you really can't tell if it's perfect or not. So you can see, um, do that. So this is the upper lip. I'm going to turn off the fill color or outline color, and I'm going to fill this. I'm just going to grab a color from the shirt just because I like to pull colors from ones that already exist. So that's a little bit dark. So this is where I'm going to right click. Let's go ahead and format this shape and add some transparency. And so you can see I can kind of create a lip. Now you can work again with the edit points and you know create a curve in here to make it work a little bit better. And then I did the same thing on the bottom. So I just went ahead. And again, doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's just the idea of it. That's what's nice about these vector characters. Um, grab the format painter, apply it to this shape. And so now I've got uh, the character a little bit different. Um, I can change the hairline, right? The hair will, um, maybe I want the hair to again have a little bit more volume. So I can. Again, use the curve tool, and then I can um, 
play around with the curve here. And this isn't going to be perfect because I'm trying to speed through the tutorial. So we'll just do that. I'm going to fill this with the hair color fill and turn off the outline. And um, you know, you can play around with the hair uh, a number of ways. We're going to go ahead and add an oval here. And we'll do the same thing. I'm going to take this color picket here and then you can, you know, play around. Add some more volume with the hair, probably add some more length to the hair. Uh, again, some of those accessories like a little earring or something um, might might help out. So if we turn that off and put a different color on there, right? So you've got the earring. Um, actually might do a color pick from something in there. So maybe the teal here. So I got a little teal earring. Um, and then the other thing here is the outfit. So maybe uh, what I want to do is get rid of the tie. And uh, this way you can use the freeform tool. Again, they're going to zoom out. So this is going to zoom out so it doesn't need to be perfect. Let's do the freeform tool here. So I'm just going to click and drag it. Um, could use the curve tool as well, but I'm getting kind of lazy. So we're going to go across here and that looks pretty good. Same thing, turn off the outline and then do a color pick of the blouse. And you can do the edit points and then use the Bezier curve. That's what's nice about these curves. So you can then cover up the imperfections that you might have by not tracing it properly. So you can see it's not, it's not exactly perfect. It's maybe too square. Um, the whole point though that is that you can use PowerPoint and these custom shapes to create your own uh, illustrations. Now what we can do is, you know, um, add a little bit more heft here at the chest, right? So I could use the illustration tool, the curve tool, and maybe just, you know, this isn't going to be perfect here. And then do the same thing, fill and shape. Uh, and then you kind of play around with the curve to kind of get it to work well with the body shape. The main thing is if we zoom out, um, you go from this character, right, which is looks different to this character. So um, again, it's not perfect, but it gives you the idea here that you can modify these characters. So when you're working with flat kind of illustrations like this, working with PowerPoint shapes uh, is a really great way uh, to work.